Welcome back here to the Jordy Collada Show. Stick around in the second hour. We'll talk more recruiting. Julie Boudouin from Tiger Details will be here at 815. Hogs for the Calls MC. Ben Mintz will stop by here at uh, 8 o'clock this morning. Looking forward to talking to Ben Mintz about what's happening this weekend as uh, Hogs for the Calls happening down in the city. Also down in the city is our next guest who is uh, over at uh, Newman and is a standout offensive lineman. Huge uh, big offensive lineman, offensive tackle down there. Uh, Bo Bordelon, who we've talked to a couple of times here on the Jordy Collada Show. He is a uh, LSU football commit, an early commit. He's also an Under Armour All-American uh, right now, uh, about 6'6", 270. Might have to get him a new shirt, dude. Heading, in that to, thing out. Uh, heading into his senior season. we got to get him some Jordy Collada Show gear. Yes. Uh, that'll be a double X, I'd imagine, right now. Huh, Big Bo? Where are we at? Double yes, X? Sir, still about a double X. X. Oh, double X. X. No, sir, double X. Yes, a proud double X. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> huge weekend for recruiting coming up, man. What's the plans for you? Um, we're looking up, uh, we're heading up this today. We're going to eat with my, me and my little brother are going to eat with Walker and Will. We'll, uh, kind of mingle a little bit. And then we got camp on Saturday. So looking uh, forward to doing that. Huge news around LSU this week and the offensive line. Take me through just kind of a commitments, uh, point of view. Uh, when you hear the news of, of Coach Craig being out and then you hear the news of Coach Davis being in from somebody who has been committed to this class for a while now and has uh, plans of being at LSU in the summer. Yeah, well, I, I loved Coach Craig, and uh, he was a great guy and a great coach. But I have no doubt that uh, Coach Davis will also be a great coach, and um, I know that they're gonna that they found the right guy for the job. So I'm excited to work with him, and, uh, getting to talk to him a little bit this weekend, and get to know him a little bit better. Because me and Coach Craig had a relationship, and I'm looking forward to building one with uh, Coach Davis. Have you talked to Coach Davis in recruiting? Just leading up, did, did he recruit you to Arkansas? He did a little bit, but um, to be honest, I didn't really uh, talk to many other schools no. other than LSU. After, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think we had you on the day after you committed, and you told us you were like, "I've been waiting on the offer, and as soon as I got the offer, it's it was done. over." <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, man. I mean. Uh... The only other schools that really contacted me was like the week after I got offered by LSU, like Alabama and Notre Dame. We tried to push a little bit, but New that, was, that was pretty much it. Yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> what, what is the emphasis for you? Oh, or I guess before we talk about your game specifically, um, has, has life changed for you since becoming a commitment? Has there felt like a, a pressure has been taken off of this recruiting process uh, going forward? Uh, yeah, that's kind of the reason I committed, so I could not have to worry about all the bells and whistles that come with recruiting and just kind of be able to stay on my grind a little bit and um, just just get get better at football, basically. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, speaking of the grind, what is the emphasis this offseason of improvement? What are you looking to improve on in between your junior and senior season? Well, I mean, the biggest thing is we, we had to gain weight, which uh, we did. And um, now it's going to be making sure I keep my hands good and don't lean. That was probably my biggest thing last year is I'd lean a little bit. But, um, yeah, just, just working on your feet, and they can always get better. I mean, I have decent feet, but uh, just just working on all the little things, man, you know? Yeah, absolutely. On Twitter, you can find our guy, Bo Bordelon, at Bordelon Bo. Uh, you can see – a uh, a nice shot of him, how he is, <laughs> he's filling out. You look like an offensive tackle, my man. I mean, when you just talk about sketching an offensive tackle at six six two seventy, where would you like to play at? Is there a target weight that you were trying to get to? I'd like to be two eighty five for this football season. Big bang. and um, I, I don't know if LSU is heavy as as I can be while still being athletic. That's uh, the. Do they do they want you at tackle? I mean, are they training you to be a tackle at at LSU? I mean, do they see you playing tackle at the next level? From what I've heard, I've heard I'm going to play tackle, but um, you never know. I'm 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 open to playing guard, center, whatever. But 
as of now, I mean, they, they look at me as a tackle. That's what uh, Coach Craig told me. What's your conversations been like with Jake Peets? Yeah, he he's fired up. He loves. He said he loves the way I play, and uh, he he can't wait to get me on campus this weekend. And uh, I'm gonna talk to him a little bit. So that'll be good. You mentioned uh, Big Will and, and Walker uh, and, and getting together with those guys and eating a little bit of uh, lunch yesterday. It seems like that class of 22 has got some pretty good chemistry already built up going into your guys' final season. Yes, sir. We got a really special class. Uh, I've actually got a teammate and a good friend, A.J. Josh, that committed as well. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we all – pretty much know each other for the most part. I mean, either AJ plays on the bootleggers with a bunch of guys like Jacoby and them, and uh, me and Walker grew up together. Yeah. So. Obviously, you and uh, your, your your old man, uh, Ben Bordelon, and, and Jamie Howard, who's Walker's dad, played together at LSU, and I know uh, are very good friends still to this day, which uh, in line has put you guys together. How much do you and AJ get asked about Arch? No, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, is it every day? It's got to be yeah, overwhelming, pre- bro. Pretty much. Um, what What is his life like? I mean, I guess if if you guys are his friends and ask him, how crazy is it for him? No, no. I mean, this whole summer is going to be really busy for him. He's got a lot of visits, official and unofficial, and Zoom calls and all kind of stuff. What's y'all's, but, uh, ex- what's y'all's expectation for next season? Because, I mean, when I just look at y'all on paper, right? I mean, y'all are loaded. I mean, it, it's a state championship. It, it's yeah. nothing less for me. Right. I mean, um, I'm looking to to go win this one and then hopefully win a few national championships at LSU. That'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, it would, bro. It absolutely would. I know your family is fired up that you are LSU committed. Uh, well, what has that been like uh, now, now that it is official that you will be attending LSU? I, I know your dad – um, pretty well, and he's a very well-respected businessman within our state and within our community. Uh, but I know that this was something that he was very, very passionate about, about watching you put on the purple and gold and kind of fulfilling that that, that lifeline and that legacy that he started. Oh, yeah, everybody in my family is all pumped up. I don't think anybody's more excited than my grandma, though, uh, his, his mama. Yeah. She, she can't get enough of me going to LSU. That's so cool. She wanted me to commit the day I got the offer. <laughs> so cool, it wasn't far off, though, dude. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I do have one question that Jordy kind of just uh, blew past. You're trying to go from 270 to 285. That seems like a good jump for me. Um, what's that process like? Are you just shoveling food, or is it very much like protein shakes, or is it just you're in New Orleans and grab whatever you want and eat it, and eat it twice? I mean, it, it's pretty much a little bit of both. I mean, I drink about three or four protein shakes, a day, and then uh, you eat about five or six meals. So that's how you do it. <laughs> uh, big Bo, uh, Big Bo Bordelon on Twitter at Bordelon Bo in town this weekend. Obviously, for the offensive lineman uh, camp, talked about uh, the, uh, the 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 ability now to sit down with Coach Brad Davis, who's the offensive line coach. Uh, have safe travels over to Baton Rouge this weekend, man. Uh, looking forward to watching you play your senior season and into the purple and gold. And as always. Thank you for your time. Tell your dad hello. Yes, sir. Will do. All right, Thank you. You got it. There's a Bo Bordelon checking in from New Orleans this morning. There you heard it. Uh, good relationship with James Craig. Obviously, some of the communication that he and Craig were having uh, throughout recruiting and leading up uh, to his senior season was working and training at a tackle position. But now the communication changes hands, and it goes into Brad Davis. And there was a little bit small uh, communication there while Davis was at Arkansas and recruiting uh, Bordelon at Newman, but as Bo said there, uh, and if anybody's close to the situation or really knows uh, what, what was going on with Bo, uh, he is as LSU uh, of a family as you can find in our state, as big as an LSU family as, as you can find in our state. Like I said, I mean, his dad played uh, for the Tigers, uh, was Jamie Howard's uh, teammate, who was, you know, Walker Howard's father, um, and, and they just bleed purple and gold.